The reason is there's just not that much energy stored in frozen ice. There's just not that much energy there. You think there is, but there's not. Ice is, doesn't store as much energy per gram as water does uh, in terms of shifting its temperature, not by a long shot. So every degree that you have frozen of your ice, you're not getting that degree back when you, when you put the ice into your drink, okay? Furthermore, it's not nearly as fast. Getting that energy out of the ice out that way is not nearly as fast as getting the energy out from melting. So it actually takes longer to chill your drink with colder ice, even though theoretically eventually it will get to a slightly lower temperature, it's gonna take you longer. You're not winning. You don't win by using frozen ice, except for a phenom phenomenon we're gonna talk about later, which is water that's stuck on the outside of your ice that can, that can actually affect the pollution of your drink. When people talk about shitty ice versus good ice, really the only effect we found, we're gonna talk about that, is how much water is on the outside of that ice from the get-go, not as you're melting or any of that crap. It's the water that's there from the get-go. It's, it's hard to imagine, um, uh, I think, chicken or egg uh, with the how ice machines were invented or designed. Um, uh, the ice that comes off of uh, your standard ice maker is about um, 20 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. Um, and I, I don't know the history of, of, of ice making machines well enough to sort of provide whether it's intentional. Um, at that temperature, but it turns out to be the best thing um, for cooling. Um, or if we drink evolved because of that's the way that uh, ice is made. So everything that um, maximizes uh, melting is, is, is makes your good. So your speed of stirring, so how fast your drink passes by um, the, the surface area of ice, more exposure of ice to um, your drink. Um, the type of vessel, um, meaning in sort of the material we tend to use, use either um, pin or glass, um, and the shape can affect it. Um, that affects, shape affects the surface area. Um, material of the vessel, of course, affects um, how much energy um, that uh, will either contain um, or pull out of cooling further. And then, of course, the temperature of your ice. If I can point out as well the, uh, sorry, go ahead, Audrey. Yeah, yeah absolutely. absolutely. Um, you know, uh, water, uh, alcohol cools um, more quickly than water, uh, more efficiently. Um, the handy was colder. It also, it also shifts your, your theoretical equilibrium of what your final temperature is going to be, and theoretically then also alters dilution, but we found that it's really hard to from first principles, just kind of figure out what the hell's gonna happen. Do you know what I mean? In general, what you think happens, which is a higher, starting with a higher proof, ends with a higher proof, is, no, it's, it, I mean like, well, it depends on how long you stir, I mean like, we'll get, we'll get over that. But water doesn't want to go below zero degrees, and it's gonna fight your drink, um, and I hate to see zero as one, because that's uh, deterministic. But you're going to level off no matter what you do at a certain point, because water's gonna, gonna fix you at a certain equilibrium temperature. Also, your uh, your uh, stirring apparatus doesn't really matter. If I could please point out the image in that last, those are chopsticks. This is cold. Thomas and I were going to we're, we're going to um, bore you with a whole like a series of slides of. Fucking cold. Uh. <laughs> stop! 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 Uh. Four more in. Jesus fuck. Four more in. <laughs> This is the longest handled thing that they had in the in the building. <laughs> By the way, when you're when you're chilling something with liquid nitrogen, I always say it's a really bad way to chill one drink. It's a really good way to chill a whole shitload of drinks. Uh, the other thing is you want to pour your drink into your liquid nitrogen rather than the other way around. Howdy, because what will happen is liquid nitrogen will float. If you pour liquid nitrogen into your drink, it's just going to float on top, and you're not going to get very effective chilling. I hope it froze this. Uh, no, it's like. <laughs> throw, another, throw, another, throw another bag of stuff in. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, listen. I'm losing my What? Look how far I drop on the rock. I'm killing these bags. <laughs> We're wasting time. Tony, your spoon's upside down. <laughs> 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 I, you know, I'm basically out of the living. I don't even need to. I'm done, you fool. Okay.
Okay, so Ryan is on crap ice, and he is red. So he's winning other than me, because I clearly kicked all your asses. Uh, the, the second one, the green, is same stir with the, with the larger ice, with the cold draft. The fourth one down, which is blue, is a, a language stir there with cold draft ice. And then the next two are the Japanese crystals. Notice how the, the, this, is the this is the cold Japanese crystal, right? But no. Yeah. The, why is it losing? <laughs> The British man with the with the with the, with the chill group will be lost on that one, right? Yeah. We'll verify that. Anyway. <laughs> in general we were we were right. Oh my drink is warming up. I'll beat you there though. Wait. So I think it's a pretty I think it's a pretty good demonstration of stirring speed and ice kind of makes, makes a difference with stirring in a way that it really doesn't with shaking. And the reason it doesn't make a difference with shaking is shaking is so much more efficient, so much, uh, and it's, I don't mean this in a, in a judgmental way, better at chilling and diluting that no matter kind of what your style is, you know, even if you're completely, you know, like, you know, two left hand guy myself, you're gonna get to your, your, your final point so quickly that it really doesn't matter. Where stirring is actually kind of more, there's, there's more art to it, I think. Well, yeah, if, that's the other thing. If you can't look cool stirring, then your drink will not have any deliciousness. <laughs> <laughs>